Howdy. I'm interested in how the hardware, the military hardware is financed and the logistics and everything. So who, who pays for that ultimately? How is it financed? Yeah, I, I wonder about that. It's interesting. How much, I know the taxpayer in the U.S., you know, contributes uh, maybe around $2,700 a year to the, the military budget, you know, is it, what do they just create money? And how does the financing work? It's interesting. Also for you armchair warriors with experience, all the new weapon systems are new, so maybe the old timers wouldn't know how to use those systems, but would they be willing to go back, train up on the new equipment, and then go over and train Ukrainian fighters on how to use the new guns and whatnot? That's not necessarily easy, I guess. And a lot of that hardware is going to get chewed up by the Russian war-making capacity. So it's going to be interesting how long. I don't know. I, I'm interested. Do you guys know anything about the financing? How, the, how they finance um, arming Ukraine? I have to look into that. It's it's fascinating that, you know, you, you have a Great Depression and then there's a World War II and suddenly you're building uh, freedom ships and tanks and everything and, and really amazing fighters and bombers and, you know, the, the industrial capacity is there. But also, we're living in a time where we're starting to understand... Um, what limited resources mean. And maybe in the near future, we're going to understand what true scarcity is in certain areas, in the energy sector and in the technology sector and all those, those things. Um, you can't have unlimited growth forever because there are limited resources here. Unless Elon can figure out how to mine those asteroids because it's not as difficult as it looks for Elon. He can probably do it, you know, in a couple of years if the government gives him enough money. But anyway, we're running up against that thing. Fascinating times. William T. Out.